All right, Dad, the average consumer, they are being left behind. We have more and more brands pushing more and more up market, and I'm going to run some numbers by you, and I don't even think you're going to believe how expensive trying to purchase some cars are. Let me let me run some numbers by you before we get into the GMC and Mazda news. How's that sound? Works for me. All right, would you believe it, Dad, if I told you the average transaction price in March of 2023 for BMW was $68,392. Daimler, Mercedes-Benz, was $79,500. Ford was $53,000. GM, right there with them at $52,620. Honda, a relatively affordable brand, an average transaction price, $38,506. Hyundai, $36,500. Thirty-six five Kia, thirty-four thousand Nissan. What Nissans used to be a, be cheap, man. Thirty-seven seven Stellantis, fifty-five thousand dollars. Subaru, thirty-five thousand dollars. Toyota, on their quest to fifty thousand dollar average transaction prices at forty-two five. Volkswagen Group at forty-nine six. The industry average, Dad, over forty-five thousand dollars. The average consumer is being left behind, aren't they? Oh, absolutely. And when you look at this this list. Um, you're left looking at vehicles with an average transaction price of under $40,000, Honda, Hyundai, Kia, Nissan, Subaru. Thank you. That's it. That's the list. Now, on that list, and I get accused of bashing Hyundai and Kia because, well, I don't know, they've had some issues. So, and, and Nissan's had their issues. Yeah, out of that group, you know, realistically, I, I think Subaru's the brand to look at. You know, they have yep, they have Subaru is officially the brand. Yeah, they have a better track record um, um, as far as durability um, and reliability. So, hey, if you're looking for a relatively inexpensive and relatively inexpensive is a relative term, um, relatively inexpensive vehicles, I'd be looking at Subaru. I'd be looking at Subaru all day long. This is now a Subaru fan channel, folks. (laughs) Dad, Mazda is not on this list. We don't have data yet for Mazda. However, their CEO, their North America CEO, recently came out just last week. We did a video on it then. It was at the same time that Toyota's uh, North America head of sales, Jack Hollis, came out. Mazda's saying they want to come out and be more upmarket, be more luxury. Okay, so even Mazda might not be on that list in the near future. And then I've alluded to the Toyota news. They think average transaction prices for new cars will reach $50,000. Dollars. This also comes on the heel at GMC. This yeah. was an automotive news. GMC's average transaction price is almost, we are getting close to $65,000, 63 Dad. So GMC is now a luxury brand if you're in the market for a pickup truck. Pops, we are super excited. Car Edge Insurance. What is it? What do we need to know? <laughs> it's all your insurance needs in one place. Easy, simple, fast. Just give us some information. You get your quotes. CarEdge.com slash insurance. It, it, it's, it's amazing to me how expensive all pickup trucks are. Uh, you know, Ram, Ford, uh, Chevy, GMC, even the Toyota Tundras and stuff. I mean... Pickup trucks are expensive, and you know if you just want a base, a, a base a work truck, I, I don't know that that base work trucks are even affordable anymore for businesses. It is it is kind of crazy how most of these manufacturers have decided to absolutely positively leave the average American behind, and they're just playing to a smaller and smaller subset of people who can effectively afford to buy the more expensive, near-luxury vehicles that they want to sell. And, Dad, this also comes on the heels of Ford with their recent announcement for the Ford F-150 Lightning, the base price of that vehicle. We did a video on it, a dedicated video on it. Base price of that vehicle has gone up more than 50% in a year, the base Entry-level point for a Ford F-150 Lightning will now be north of $62,000. So it's just no matter where you look, all the signs point to automakers dwindling the slice of the pie that they can capture, but trying to make more profit per vehicle sold. It's pretty ridiculous to see the year-over-year changes and how much these average transaction prices have gone up. It is an absolute business decision made at the highest corporate levels to say, we're going to play in a smaller pool. We're okay with that because our profit margins per vehicle sold are so much higher playing in that pool. 
and we're going to leave the average American consumer behind when it comes to new vehicles so that there's a handful of brands that still want to produce vehicles that can be affordable for the vast majority of people. Um, and, and those brands are, as we said, Honda, Hyundai, Kia, Nissan, Subaru. And, and I would suspect that Mazda is still in there, even though they, they're looking to go more upscale and, and reach a, a slightly different buyer moving forward. Now, Dad, we've, we can look at year-over-year year data for Q1 for average transaction prices. And, and just look at this, Ford up 13% year over year. Nissan, who is still affordable, but up 12% year over year. Some of those that have the smallest year over year increase are names that you're going to hear us say again, Hyundai and Kia yes. and Subaru. And then you look at that, the uh, uh, first quarter in March sales data for automakers. No wonder Hyundai Kia is gaining so much market share, even though they have a myriad of, uh, uh, I mean, you can call them durability, but they're yeah. just, they're just, technical issues or engineering issues with those vehicles, check NHTSA and things like that before you buy one. But there's no wonder you're seeing so much growth amongst Hyundai Kia. And also, we help thousands of people every month buy cars. Subaru dealers are by far the best to work with. Yes. Subaru dealers are not, for the most part, I mean, I'm sure there are some Subaru dealers out there that are not not, not that great, but most of the Subaru dealers we work with, that easy, easy peasy, unlike Hyundai Kia. Hyundai Kia dealers are they Terrible, have, I, I believe Hyundai Kia dealers have the absolute worst reputation in the industry. Um, Subaru probably has one of the best reputations in the industry. Um, they tend to be much more customer centric than a lot of the brands are. They, they not only talk the talk, but they walk the walk when it comes to uh, being customer centric. So there you go. There's the lay of the land. Most brands are pushing folks out of purchasing a new vehicle. And it's pretty damning to see what's going on. However, hopefully we can put some pressure on folks and prices will come back down eventually. We can hope. 